Hi, let's have a look at the WP301 redirects plugin and some of its most interesting options and features. Since I just installed the plugin, I don't have any redirect rules and obviously my redirect log and 404 log are empty as well. So let's first have a look at the settings. The auto redirect 404 is one of the best features of our plugin. Let me show you how it works. So under pages, I have my sample page, which is available on the sample page URL. But let's say that somebody does a typo and puts in two E's. What happens? Our plugin automatically recognizes that typo and redirects the user to the sample page. Or let's say he does two E's, three in total. Again, everything's good. Now, this is possible without manually adding any redirect rules, as you can see. But if I go to my redirect log, I will see those two events. So somebody entered page EEE and it got redirected and again. And here it says it's auto redirected. So you don't have to put in any rules for this to work. This is the auto redirect option here. You can enable it for certain post types. Obviously, you probably don't want it for media, you want it for posts and pages. And if let's say you have WooCommerce, you probably want it for your products as well. Now the 404 page at the moment, I'm using the default. Let's go to something that doesn't exist. I'm using the default page not found for my team. But here I can pick, let's say that the sample page will be used as the 404 page. So if I reload this, now it shows the sample page as the 404 page. Moving on. Uh, now, obviously, if your team has options to set this and it has a 404 page builder or something like that, you should be using that. But if the team doesn't have it, use our option. We can send automatic reports for the 404 log and the redirects log. So this is the email to use. And then you pick when you want those reports emailed to you once a day or once a week. And you can pick the retention log for your 404 and redirect logs. 60 days is okay for most, but what I would recommend is actually keeping it to let's say 500 or 1000 logged events. That way it doesn't really matter if you have those 1000 events in 5 days or 50 days, 1000 of the latest is the best. Again, same option for redirects email, you can pick daily or weekly and the retention log for the redirects log. Now, by default, due to privacy concerns, we do not push your logs to the redirects dashboard. You have to enable it for it to work. When you enable it, all of your logs will be pushed to your redirects dashboard. There you can see them in one place. Let me show you how that looks. So logs, and I have all of my logs for all of my sites that have that option enabled under one page. This is great. So you don't have to log in into every single site, but again, disabled by default for secure for privacy. I'm sorry, concerns. Now advanced options. You can temporarily disable all redirections for testing purposes, as well as disable them for logged in users again for testing purposes. If you need to delete absolutely everything when the plugin is deleted, enable this option. But by default, when you disable the plugin, no data is deleted. It's better that way because if you accidentally disable it, you're still good. If needed, you can recreate all of our custom tables for redirect logs and redirect rules. Under tools, you'll see that you can import redirect rules. We have the sample CSV file, so you can see how that looks, how you can format the file, or you can export all of your rules. Now, let's have a look at the 404 log, which already has a few items in it. For each of those, you can see obviously the timestamp, URL, referring URL, location, IP, and user agent. 
and you can group by IP or URL. Grouping by IP is nice because you can see if somebody is trying to brute force something on your site and grouping by URL is great so that you can see if a lot of people are hitting the same URL, which that means that you should create a new rule from that 404 URL. So if I click here, it automatically pre-fills everything and I can add the rule. That's it. Now, under the redirect log, well, the same thing. You have your starting and ending URL, refer, location IP, user agent. And you can see your top countries, browsers, devices, traffic type, and the stats for the last 30 days. Now, let's have a look at the rules. So if needed, I can quickly enable or disable them see the timestamp, see the type, redirect from, redirect to. Let me remind you, because this is a common error, the redirect to URL has to be absolute if you want it to work for outside links. So I can't do this. That's not going to be good. It needs to be an absolute URL if I want it to go to Google. I save, OK. And if I want to test it, so let's say copy link address and if I go here, paste and go, it goes to Google as expected. Priority is an advanced feature which enables you to control which rule will be executed first. For most people, it doesn't really matter. Hits is the total number of hits for that rule. So you don't have to go into the log. You can just see how many hits you have and tags. Yeah, you can easily add, let's say sample tag update rule. Okay. That way you can group your rules. And if you have hundreds, it's much easier to find something because you can then, okay, click sample tag. Then it shows only the rule for that tag. Let's quickly go over the settings for each rule. You should read this. It's really short, but it gives you a great info about all of these parameters. Redirect from, obviously, that's the URL, URL sorry, on your site and redirect to, obviously, the URL where you are redirecting to. Most of the times you want to ignore all of the URL parameters. That's the one that says question mark something equals something. So you ignore that. And for the redirect type, you want to keep 301. That's a permanent redirect. Sometimes you want to do 301, but for most applications, it's 301. Priority, as already said, ignore it in most use cases. It just defines which rule gets executed first and tags. Well, put as many tags as you need and organize your rules. Documentation has more info on more advanced rules and how to use the regular expression. But for most users, just redirect from redirect to leave everything by default as is and just click add rule or update. That's it.